As a reference, on my previous video, I was mentioning a J1 uh, exchange programs um, that I was in at J1 Visa. So if you want to watch um, what I was talking about in that video, a Q&A, um, just click on the link that is up here on the tag that I will be tagging up here. So, so today I am going to be giving clarity into that type of a program. I will be explaining to you what is a cultural exchange program, what is a J-1 visa, also the categories of a J-1 visa, um, benefits of a J-1 visa, characteristics that one has to have with a J-1 visa, and also just as a disclaimer, this is my own personal understanding and I am sharing it to you guys. So no one should just go online and Google and do whatever and then maybe see that my understanding understanding is different from whatever is there and just come at me with that so i am just putting a disclaimer this is a purely my understanding and i'm just sharing the information with you guys because i think it will be helpful or it might be helpful my name is Mangeni Mishali and welcome to my youtube channel if you are a new sabi welcome and thank you very much for joining the family if you are a returning sabi you know the drill welcome 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 and thank you very much for your support i really really appreciate it and it doesn't go unnoticed continue to comment like and share the videos and i do believe that if you know anyone that um, might have interest in programs that are for traveling abroad or anything like that and if this particular one um, is something that you know that someone likes or would want to take part in please do share the video to them and also just to spread the word and raise awareness about these programs <laughs> Let's get right straight to the point of today's videos. I just want to get to the content so that you guys don't just watch and get bored. The first question is, what is a cultural exchange program? A cultural exchange program is sharing of different ideas, traditions, knowledge with slightly different um, background than you. It can be a different country, different province, um, different state. Um, different nation just in general it is about understanding different cultures beliefs in hospitality and tourism practices in general well that's what i did so i am focusing on on hospitality because that's the program that i was in but it can be in any other industry that one is taking the program for so moving yeah. on what is a j1 student visa this is a non-immigrant visa issued by the united states of america to researchers scholars professors exchange visitors who are participating in programs that promote cultural exchange in this um type of visa sometimes there's a, a two-year rule that applies so what does that mean it means that um if a two-year rule applies in your uh, visa that means you have to go back to your country of origin and then that's for two years and then you can come back to america after two years well in this case i did not have a two-year rule because it does not apply it didn't apply with me so i could have gone back to america this year or next year whatever the case may be but i just chose to stay so sometimes I think that the two-year rule applies to trainees. I do believe that to trainees because you're getting trained in the United States of America. So then after you acquired the knowledge and the skills that you're there for, you then need to come back to your country and then actually practice in terms of like now start working and implementing those in your country. This also depends to your sponsor, meaning your funding for your actual visa also or, or any medical conditions that you have ah uh, yeah that's that though i do stand to be correct let's just say you are married right uh and you are in a j1 visa and you don't know what to do and you would want or you would like your partner to be with you in america so it is possible you can get a j2 visa this is for your spouse so it's a spousal visa so you can apply for that and also do consult with your host company if they do sponsor that or you guys will have to pay for it so like any other job um a j1 visa requires you to have certain characteristics and i do believe that these are common characteristics in many fields uh in the world that's what i think so 
What are the characteristics of a J1 visa status? To be a very passionate person. So you need to be passionate about your industry. You need to be passionate for your, with, about what you do. You know? Um, the person needs to be warm and welcoming. The person needs to be hardworking. The person needs to be driven. The person needs to be always willing to help. I mean, you need to go beyond expectations to make sure that you do exceptionally well. This is actually not really important, but I see it as a fun factor. So United States of America um, accepts into USA approximately 300,000 J1 visas around the world. So if you are really interested in this, they, so if you are interested, there's really high chances of you being accepted for that visa. Um, also, because of COVID restrictions, the numbers have dropped, but they are looking into bringing the numbers up again. So there's more, and it's, I, I think now the embassies are becoming much more lenient when it comes to accepting the visas during the interviews, though they can be denied. You need to keep that in mind, right? They can now, be denied. What are the categories of this J1? Like, how do you get it if maybe I'm a student or if maybe I just want to go and work, if I, maybe if I just want to go and teach. So let me just break down. Okay. We have government visitors, we have research scholars, we have teachers at all academic levels. We have secondary, college and university students. And then the last one that I was in, we have trainees and interns. They can be in medicine or business or in any industry. There are companies which are the host companies that employ J1 or any other visa status. Um, there is some benefit for them as a host company. And what are those benefits that they get? So I have just dotted down my understanding of what I think is beneficial for a company in the USA having, um, let's say, J1 students. So the benefit of the host company it is to help the host company to better service their guests around the world the company is innovative it is perceived as being a diverse um, co uh, company so the reason why i had come up with this understanding or analogy my analogy it is that the company is seen as diverse and innovative and also how to better service their guests, right? So I was working for a resort. The theme of the actual resort was um, African. It was an African themed resort. Um, if you look at the previous videos that I have, you would say it, it is Kalahari. You can see the, the resort. So the best way Kalahari can be able to service their guests is to source African um, J1 or employees so that they can be part of the business, they can be part of their company. In that way, when they get their guests that, um, what do you call it? When they get their guests, they, when the guests come to the resort, they get the African theme feel. They have never been to Africa, maybe. They get the African theme of the resort. Also, they are being serviced by africans i'm not saying though kalahari only employs africans you also get your latino people there spanish people so um some from ukraine you don't really get one um what do you call it ethnic group that's what i'm trying to say so the the company is diverse and it is innovative as for me as a former J1 exchange or cultural exchange student, um, what did I benefit? I'm not going to mention everything, but I'm just going to mention a few things that um, not only contribute to my work ethic, but to me personally. Um, you become more open-minded. 
So because you, you've you moved from your home country, I've moved from my home country, I don't know anyone here. Um, I don't know this environment and there's nothing that I'm familiar with here. So that forces me or enables me to transition and have an open mind. That's number one. I had become open-minded to different environments and how to be able to, to, to adjust and adapt in that. So that's number two. It makes you, you, you become able to adapt. So you adapt in the new environment so that you can be able to leave. Because if you are unable to adapt in the environment, then you won't be able to leave in the environment. You get to. So you also gain new networks. You gain new connections. So you get to know people from other countries, countries that you never even had before. For instance, I've never heard of a country called Ecuador. And there were people that I was working with from Ecuador. There were people from Peru that I made friends with. Um, so now whenever I would say I would like to go to Peru, I know who to contact. I know who can take me around in that particular country. And also, okay, despite the fact that you get to meet people from other countries, also as a South African, there are also some South Africans from other provinces, right? So you get to connect with these people. And when you get there, you guys become a community. You guys become family. People that you don't know nothing about, they become your family. You relate to them. You guys are in the same struggle. So that also um, assists you to be able to, to live with people of different cultures and different beliefs and understand that like you are different and they are different and you need to accept them for who they are and what they represent and what they stand for. So basically, you just learn to adjust into different cultures. So now yeah, that I've shared that, I hope you guys now understand um, what is a cultural exchange program and what it entails. Um, I hope if ever you are interested, you need to make your research and be able to understand what it is and is it something that you would want to do personally. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate you spending your time and watching it. Um, please don't forget to comment, to like, and to share. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Until my next video.